What's going on guys? Welcome back for another tutorial from Tech Vitamins. Uh, today I'm going to show you how you can use a uh, Joomla template, um, I guess with demo content already in it, uh, to create another website from scratch. Um, I find this to be uh, very useful when I do my websites and it also makes my work a lot quicker so I can you know, refer to um, the structure or the way they set up the sections and categories in the demo um, content website and I can mimic that to make my own and design it properly. So um, what we're already looking at is the beginnings of what techvitamins.com is going to be. You see that I have my simple template right here that I got from uh, Utheme which is one of my favorite uh, websites for templates. Um, but what we're going to do in this video is create a subdomain and install another installation of Joomla with the demo content in it so you can uh, go back and forth while you make your website. So let's get to it. Um, first I'm going to go into my cPanel and I'm going to create the subdomain for my uh, template website and I'm going to go do that by clicking on subdomains and I can just call it Actually, I'm going to call it a uh, demo temp. The reason I'm not ma uh, naming it template because there's already a folder in the Joomla installation called templates, I believe, and I don't want to get those two confused because you know my Joomla, my regular Joomla installation sits in the ma main HTML folder and your subdomain folder is going to end up appearing in the main HTML folder as well so I don't want to confuse those two um, so let me go ahead and uh, create this see it's automatically going to put in the public HTML demo temp and has, has been created so now what I'm going to do is go into my files in my file manager which I already have open in another tab and refresh my um, uh, folder and you see that we have a demo temp uh, folder here so this is now basically my HTML folder for this new subdomain you see it's empty so this is where we're going to place my installation file so in order to uh, put the demo content into Joomla and I'm talking about the demo content um, from Utheme, not the one that comes with Joomla stock, I need to download the Joomla installation from Utheme directly with the particular template, um, I'm sorry, with the particular demo content that I want to reference. So you see that they have a variety of templates uh, in utheme.com. Once I sign into my account, but all the way at the bottom, I have a uh, Joomla 1.7 demo installation. So I'm going to download that and uh, this is the file that I'm going to be extracting in my demo temp subdomain. So let me go ahead and close this. I'm going to go into my subdomain right now. Whoops. Let me go back into demo temp. I'm going to upload my um, Corona, that's not it, let's see, I'm looking for the Utheme demo installation, there we go, Joomla 1.7 demo package, and you see I already is, uh, downloaded this before, but let me just go ahead and choose this, open it, it's going to upload it to my demo temp folder, I'm going to go ahead and reload. You see that it's in here. I'm going to right click and extract the files. Close that. And let me go ahead and uh, open up Chrome for this installation. And I'm going to go into my subdomain now. So because I need a demo temp, I'm going to go to demo temp.tech vitamins.com and since I extracted my Joomla installation it's going to take me to the installation screen I'm going to quickly go through this 
if you want to see how to install Joomla 1.7, go to my other video. Um, that's I believe it's called Joomla 1.7 and 1.6, how to install using cPanel. You can also find that on our channel, Tech Vitamins TV. Um, so go ahead and check that out. So uh, again, I talk about this in my other video. Make sure you select the correct database here because you don't want to do the MySQL Lite if you don't have the MySQL Lite on your web space. Uh, generally, most cPanels will use a full version of MySQL. So make sure you use the correct one. I already set up a um, username for this. Put in my database name. Also, if you want to see how to create a database in cPanel, reference the video I just told you about. That uh, step-by-step directions on how to do this. Um, I don't need to keep any previous uh, tables of uh, this demo database because I'm going to start from scratch. I'm going to click next. It accepted it. I don't touch any of these settings right here because I use FileZilla for my FTP um, access. Go next, site name, call this demo, take vitamins, put in my email. Please don't email with stupid stuff, but I'll be happy to answer any questions. Alright, and I'm going to click on install sample data. Now, this is important. This is not going to um, install the regular Joomla stock data, but it's going to install the data from the uh, Uthene file that I've downloaded into my cPanel. So make sure you do install it this time. And it's been installed successfully. Here we go next. A great feature about uh, Joomla 1.6 and 1.7. It uh, removes the installation folder for you, so you don't have to go back into your cPanel and do it. And we're done now. Let me go into the back end of this because I also want to set up the template um, with the demo content that I'm going to be referencing. So let me go quickly add the uh, template here. Install that. Go to extensions and I'll go to templates. I'm going to make sure that I make a default and I select the template that I want to use. Or I guess uh, the background and all the uh, picture files images, HTML, CSS, all that stuff uh, is going to be correct. So now I should be able to access my website and here we go. So see here's the template that I'm going to be working off of for my uh, for our website techvitamins.com. This is what I'm working with here, just a blank template and in another browser I can very easily access all of the structure. So if I go to menus now, all my menus are in here. If I want to see the structure of those, I can uh, reference the way they set up their uh, categories, sections, and all that stuff, how they set up their articles. And I, I find this personally very useful when I create all my websites, especially if I'm going to be creating off of a template and it does provide you with demo content, go ahead and install it in the subdomain because it makes things a lot easier. You can troubleshoot the, uh, things with this and you know, it's just hopefully going to save you a lot of time. If you have any questions, please uh, feel free to post it in the comment or shoot me an email. And uh, if you like this video, please subscribe. I'm going to be posting a lot more videos about working within Joomla 1.7 as we create our website for techvitamins.com. Thanks, guys.